In this tutorial, we will create a group box. The purpose of the group box in Swift UI is to provide a visually clear container that groups related content or controls together. As you can see on the screen, this is the view we will, we will create. If I click on settings, and it has sub items that we can select, which is accounts, notifications, and privacy. And each time when I select an element, the selected value or option is displayed within this little bubble at the bottom of the screen. Create a new Swift UI view and name the view Bubble Message View. Bubble Message View. The bubble message view has one variable name message and the purpose of that message is to hold and display the selected item that was clicked. The next thing we need to do within the text element include the verbal message. So that the selected item can be displayed when clicked. Foreground color white padding. Background blue corner radius fifteen shadow radius eight. So the first thing that we've done was to set the color of the foreground to white. We added some padding to the text for better spacing. And then we set the background color of the bubble to blue. And added a corner radius of 15. And the shadow to the bubble with a radius of 10. The preview we can delete as we're not using it. The next view we need to create is setting items view. The purpose of the setting item view is to display the name of the caption of the menu item and the system symbol icon. So create another Swift UI view. Name the view. Setting item view. Settings item view has two variables, icon, string, 
which is a variable to hold the name of the system icon. Var text, a variable to hold the text that will be displayed next to the icon. On line 15, we need to create a hate stack. Within the H stack, we need to add a system image, which is called icon. Or the icon variable. Foreground color for the system image, white. And then the text. UI element will hold the text of the menu, like the menu name, for example, if it's notification. The foreground color will be white. And then within our content view, we need to add two at state variables at state private bar is expanded bool equals false. The purpose of that variable is to track whether the setting section is expanded or collapsed at state private bar selected item string optional equals nil And then on line 14, we need to add a navigation view. Just for a title, really. We don't really need to like add it, but just for the title, so it looks a bit neater, really, that way. Navigation view. B stack. And then our V stack will contain the group box and the group box will include a few actions And the next thing we need is a label which is called setting for the caption. The system image
is gear shape dot fill on lines eighteen we missed out a bracket. So we need to fix these errors. There's a bracket missing on lines 23. Or two brackets. And then an open bracket. And another closing bracket. Just compile it. And the next thing we need to do is that when the user clicks on the settings, menu of the group box it will perform a toggle action to expand the menu items so we implement this within the group box button action if expanded Dot toggle so if it's true it will be false if it's false it will be true Then we just need to style our label foreground color dot white dot padding dot background color Red fifty nine divided by two five five green eighty nine divided by two five five blue one five two divided by two five five and that sets the the black, the background color to blue. Next thing we need to do is to add a corner radius. Which is eight. So that will add rounded corners to the label. I'll just add a comment here. Add is expanded. code for next week. So in next week's tutorial we will complete the implementation for the content view. In this tutorial 
we will create a group box. The purpose of the group box in Swift UI is to provide a visually clear container that groups related content or controls together. As you can see on the screen, this is the view we will, we will create. If I click on the settings, and it has sub items that we can select, which is accounts, notifications, and privacy. And each time when I select an element, the selected value or option is displayed within this little bubble at the bottom of the screen. In this tutorial, we will add the expandable functionality to the group box so the menu items can be hidden and shown. On line 30, enter the following. If is expand, expanded. Then we need to show the VStack that contains the menu items. We add our button. for one of our menu items and the bottom will be called or will include the value account when it's selected selected item account And we also need to use a bit of animation to detect when the button has been clicked. With animation, Next thing we need to do is to call the settings view item. And then pass in the icon that we're using, which is person crop dot circle. And the text to be to be displayed on the button is account. On line thirty two, missed out a semicolon, so that should be a semicolon. And then we create our next button, which is our next menu item. So we can just copy and paste what we've done previously. Copy the lines between 32 and lines 41. And then we just paste the next button. The 
just compile it just to make sure the structure is correct. Selected item should be notification. And for the icon, we will use bell dot fill. For the text for the button, we use notification. Next thing we need to do is to paste our final button. Selected item is renamed to privacy. Icon is lock dot bill and text privacy. Next thing we need to do is add padding around our VStack. Dot padding. And then set the background color. Red 96 divided by 2 by 5, green 125 divided by 2 by 5, and blue 175 divided by 2 by 5. And then we apply rounded corners to the setting list. Add padding around the group box, corner radius around the group box, and then we add a shadow around the group box. Then we also add a spacer. To push the content upwards. And then we add our bubble functionality. So when you use the select, for example, notification, it will display the message that the user has selected notification. Or if they select privacy, it will show that they have selected privacy on the menu within the bubble. If let item equals selected item, just do a bit of safe unwrapping and then and it should be item and the items. Bubble message view 
and then pass in the item that we have selected. Item clicked. So that will show notification has been clicked or privacy has been clicked. Sort transition scale. Or a bit of bubble effect. Dot animation. Dot spring. Value selected item. And what that does, it will animate the appearance of the bubble based on the selected item. The next thing we need to do is add a bit of padding around the V-stack. And then we add our navigation bar title. Which is root box, display mode, dot large. Let's see if it runs now. So if I click on settings, it should collapse to show a menu. Click on accounts, item, menu item, and it shows account, click. Click on notifications, notifications click, and privacy, privacy click. And that is one example how to use a group box in Swift UI. Thank you for joining us. If you found this tutorial helpful, please comment, like and subscribe. See you next week.